In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We welcome you all to the celebration of the Eucharist here at the beautiful Maria Angelorum Chapel. And the students and staff of Viterbo University joins us in prayer. My brothers and sisters, as we stand here gazing at the tremendousness of our God, we take a moment and ask God to soften our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy be on us, O God, as we place our trust in you. And all your works are ever faithful. You love justice and right. Your compassion fills all creation. Let your mercy be on us. sustain them in time of famine. Let your mercy be on us, O God, as we place our trust in you. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design and the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus 
before time began, but now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it's good that we're here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them, and from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and don't, do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Something happened on that mountain. And uh, my name is Father Conrad Targonsky. I'm the Viterbo University chaplain. And after I retired from the United States Navy Chaplain Corps in the Marines, I... Uh, went on a pilgrimage, and I began it at Lourdes. And we started the pilgrimage at Massabiel, where Bernadette had this vision of the Mother of God. I went and I touched the cave, if you can touch it. And I said to the Marine officer that was with me on pilgrimage, he said, I said, something happened here. There was a tremendous mystery, and I know we all feel it in different parts of our lives, and sometimes we wonder where it, ha where it goes when we're either ill or sick or infirm or not able to go anywhere. There's something missing. What do we do? I think that's why we need our Sundays. We need, we need our rest. We need our, our food and feasting. And we need to experience the beauty and the majesty of God. They call that, I think, Mysterium Tremendum. But it's also Mysterium Tremendum Fascinans. Fascinating. This week, we're going to celebrate two people who also reflected the beauty of God's glory. And they, too, were very much afraid. Tomorrow is Patrick of Ireland. And Wednesday is Joseph. Did you know that in the Bible, Joseph says absolutely nothing? And there are times when he was very much afraid. And he has the experience when something happens. He trusts in God. And today, if you follow the old 
custom of going from station church to station church in Rome, the catechumens, those preparing for baptism, would stop at the church of Santa Maria in Dominica, an old Roman deacony, deaconary where it was a house of the poor, where people would come to see the tremendous glory of God. So we go forward towards Easter. And this week, reflecting on Patrick of Ireland and his belief in the Trinity, and Joseph, as they say, ite a Joseph, go to Joseph. Reflect on his trust, his faith. Because Joseph and Patrick and Mary, the mother of God, in whom the beauty and glory of the transfiguration reflected perfectly, can assure us. Let us, too, rise now and profess our faith. We believe in one God. things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. This is a tremendous mystery, and it's good for us to be here. Do not be afraid. The Lord is with us. Let us pray. For those who do not yet believe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For good weather and the fruits of the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the needs of our diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. How wonderful is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. Hear our prayer through Christ our Lord. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration 
of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he told the disciples of his coming death, on the holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so, we join with powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, her husband Joseph, Patrick of Ireland, Francis of Assisi, Claire, Rose of Viterbo, 
the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's exchange another with the sign of the kingdom. beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. Happy are we, invited to his banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever, and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, that they may always desire and at last attain the glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. The sisters and the people who pray here for the last 135 years in perpetual adoration will remember all your requests before the glory of the Lord. And a blessed Patrick's Day to you all. And as Joseph's Day comes on Wednesday, remember, any trouble, any problem, go to Joseph. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Thank you for joining us at the Sunday Mass. We pray with you and we pray for you each and every Sunday as we reach out across the diocese in this important ministry. As you know, we certainly do rely upon your thoughts, your contributions, as we try to make this ministry a reality. So any contributions that you make, we certainly do appreciate. Please be assured of our thoughts and our prayers and all the ways in which we can support you and help you and your families to come closer and closer to God each and every day of our lives. God be with you. Thank you.